Hey guys, I'm glad you have joined me today as we are going to take a look at the demonstration of how do I declare Ephesians 1 into my life. Now this video um, is directly connected with the video that is entitled, Is Your Belief System BS? But if this is your first time tuning in, click that subscribe button. Um, I want you to get caught up on this entire episode, but I believe the best way to teach is by demonstration. So in that episode, I gave um, an assignment of going to Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 through 14, and reading that um, using the word me um, in the passage. So I'm actually going to read that passage over you, and then I'm going to do a demonstration of how I would um, look in the, in the mirror and begin to put my name in that passage. So there are several different things going on here. I want you to read it on your own with the word me uh, in it, but I am going to read it over you, so I'm going to use the word you. If I knew your name, I would say your name. Um, I do this a lot with my clients. Um, and then I'm going to demonstrate how I would look in a mirror and actually speak it into myself. So what we're doing here is we're trying to shift some of our core lies about how we see ourselves into core truths. I want to come into an agreement with what God says about me. So this is just how I'm going to allow scripture to begin to shift my mind and my emotions. The Bible says that the Word of God, um, it is the implantation of the Word of God that sanctifies the soul. So when my thinker and my feeler, which is a part of my soul, needs to be shifted, I'm going to do that by really just attacking it with Scripture. So um, if you want to close your eyes as I read this over you, I would highly recommend that. And just allow your soul, your spirit to just absorb what is being said. I'm actually going to read this out of the message translation uh, just because I think it's beautiful. It's a little bit longer, a little bit more uh, poetic, um, and I think it's a little bit more relevant. Use more relevant words. So here we go. Go ahead and close your eyes, and I just want you to relax and receive his truths. How blessed is God, and what a blessing he is. He is the father of our master, Jesus Christ, and he takes you to the high places of blessing in him. Long before he laid down earth's foundation, he had you in mind. He had settled on you to be the focus of his love, and that you would be made whole and holy by his love. Long, long ago, God decided to adopt you into his family through Jesus Christ, and he had a lot of pleasure in doing this. He wanted you to enter into the celebration of his lavish gift giving by the hand of his beloved son. Because of the sacrifice of the Messiah, his blood poured out on the altar of the cross, you are a free people. You are free from penalties. You are free from any punishments that are chalked up by any of your own misdeeds. And you are not just barely free. You are abundantly free. If you're listening right now, I just want you to say, I am abundantly free. God thought of everything provided for everything that you could possibly need. He let you in on the plans that he took such delight in making. And he set it all out before you in Christ. It is a long-range plan in which everything would be brought together and summed up in him. Everything in deepest heaven and everything on planet earth. It is in Christ that you find out who you are and what you are living for. I'm going to say that again. It is only in Christ that you find out who you are and what you are living for. Long before you first heard of Christ, long before you first heard of Christ and got your hopes up, he had his eye on you. Say that with me. God, you have your eye on me. You have always had your eye on me. Watch the shift now. I'm going to look in a mirror. Lisa, God has had his eye on you. Lisa, God has his eye on you. Look at how I'm declaring that into myself. He has always had designs for you for glorious living. Lisa, 
God has designs for you. He has a glorious living in mind for you. Your design is fit for glorious living. Watch how I'm just shifting and I'm using, I'm allowing this scripture to be my authority right now. It is part of the overall purpose he is working out in everything, in everyone. It is in Christ that you, once you heard the truth and believed, you found yourselves home free, signed, sealed, and delivered by the Holy Spirit. I am home free. I am signed and sealed by the Holy Spirit. Now watch the shift. Lisa, you are home free. You are signed and sealed by the Holy Spirit. So I'm giving you demonstrations here of how I'm going to receive truth. I'm going to, re I'm going to read it as if it's personal because it is. This is not just this universal truth. It is a universal truth, but it's not just a universal truth. It is a personal truth. It is unique to you and to your design. And this is how we allow scriptures to really begin to sear past our mind, past our own opinion, past how we're feeling, and sear into our souls and begin to shift us from the inside out. So a couple more demonstrations here, just from the very beginning where it says, um, long before the earth's foundation, he laid down the earth's foundation, he had you in mind. Lisa, I declare and I decree that God has had you in mind from the foundations of the earth. He is mindful of you then, he is mindful of you now, and tomorrow he will be mindful of you. God, God's eye is upon you. See how I'm just allowing this to really just become the truth of the mirror talk, the way I speak to myself. I want to speak to myself in accordance to truth, not according to my core beliefs that are potentially just a bunch of BS. All right, long ago, he decided to adopt you into the family through Jesus Christ. Lisa, you have been adopted into the family of Jesus Christ. You are a part of the kingdom of God. I speak against any orphan spirit that will tell you you do not belong because God says you have been brought into, you have been adopted into a family that is not of this world and you belong in that family in the name of Jesus. Now I'm, now I'm just attacking loneliness, isolation, feeling like I don't belong, feeling like I don't fit in. Lack of acceptance. I'm attacking all of those things with scripture. I'm just giving you some really hardcore demonstrations here. This is the best way that I know of to teach is to demonstrate. Let's go on and it says, you are a free people, free from penalties and punishment, chalked up by all our misdeeds. Lisa, you are free. You are free from any penalties, any misdeeds, your past sins. I break shame. I break condemnation. I break guilt off of you right now in the name of Jesus because God says you are free and you are free indeed. So I receive the freedom of Jesus Christ. So I'm just demonstrating with you guys how I really allow this passage to begin to shift to attack core beliefs that are lies. Shame is a lie. Guilt is a lie. Orphan spirit is a lie. Isolation a lie, rejection, I don't belong, I'm not accepted, I'm not loved, I have no value, nobody sees me. This one passage is attacking those lies. This is so important for you to grasp this. So many demonstrations and opportunities. If you don't follow me, follow me on Facebook, follow Lisa Schwartz LLC. I do demonstrations every Sunday night. Uh, for you on how do I take scriptures and do declarations. If you haven't been following along on the um, episodes that is mental emotional, uh, mental emotional first aid, you're going to want to get caught up on those so that you have an understanding of why is this video even relevant. Um, but I can't think of a better way to teach them by demonstration. So this is your really quick demonstration. Again, click that subscribe button um, so that you can be catching all the episodes, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment in the comments that says, hey, I really engaged with this exercise. I'm going to do it on my own. Or, uh, or hey, I love, love this exercise. Or maybe you have a question or you just didn't understand. Uh, maybe you want some other um, demonstrations. Let me know in the comments because I want to come alongside you. I want to put out videos that are relevant to where you are at. So interact with me, interact with each other so that we can come along side of each other. I always tell everybody together we are better um, and together we are better. So remember, enforcing purpose, 
it starts with you.